Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I'm a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict. And I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my video today. This is a yarn and crochet channel where we talk about all things yarn and all things crochet. So if that interests you, please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button and then of course hit that notification bell to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. As the title of this video suggests, my friends, this is Winter Stitch 2024 Mystery Cow for the blanket. So, this is the other side of the Mystery Cow. Um, the first side is the squares. This is the blanket. Um, you can choose to do just the blanket. You can choose to do just the squares. You can do all parts of it. It's completely up to you. So, this particular crochet along will consist of six weeks. It starts today, it runs until February the 19th, and each week we will spin for stitches to add on to our blanket. So this being week one, I will design a centerpiece to start our blanket, and then we will spin for that one additional stitch to add on to our project this week. Every week after this one, we will spin for two stitches to add on to our project. And each week, we look to accomplish about 10 to 12 inches uh, per week. And then at six weeks, we should be somewhere around 60 inches. And then we will go ahead and put on a border finishing the project. So I encourage you guys to go through your scraps. I did. I have one of my many baskets right here just leftovers that I plan on using for this particular blanket. Um, if you have a particular color story you'd like to use, by all means, go for it. Then again, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, um, depending on when you're watching this. So the possibilities are endless, my friends. So this particular centerpiece, it's just a very simple centerpiece that I had in mind that I wanted to include in on this blanket. And then Going forward, I will add different stitches to the wheel each and every week. It won't be the same stitches that show up on the wheel. If you guys have any suggestions on stitches that you would like to add to the blanket, um, if I get enough of a response, I'll add it to the wheel. So please sound off in the comments if you're interested um, and if you're commenting while the crochet along is still happening. So if you happen to be watching this after it's ended, um, I'm sorry, but just follow along and enjoy for what it is, okay? So without further ado, I'm just going to adjust the camera so we can get the wheel up here and we can get started figuring out what stitch we will be uh, launching with after our centerpiece, okay? So let me place you on a brief hold and I'll be right back. Okay, friends, so here we are with the wheel. I'm just going to show you what the symbols mean, and then we'll go ahead and spin. So um, this being the first week, I didn't overcomplicate the wheel. But again, if you have any suggestions, sound off in the comments while the cal is still going, and I may add it to our wheel here. So um, here is the first uh, pie slice here. It is the cross stitch. This next one here is your standard double crochet. This one here is the half double crochet uh, in the third loop. And this is the granny square stitch. And these are windows. And so that repeats all the way around here, okay? And again, every week the stitches will change. But being as though this is the very first week, we're launching it off, I figured let's just keep it simple for now and see where we go from here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Okay, so it landed on windows, which is perfect. Okay, so let me go ahead and put you guys back into presentation mode for a second, and then we'll go from there, okay? One second. Okay, friends, so... Um, after the centerpiece, we're going to do windows, um, which is super nice because windows always looks nice um, on a project. I have many projects out there with windows, and I'm sure we've all seen them everywhere. So it comes to no surprise how nice they can actually look. Um, so uh, what we will do is uh, start right away with the tutorial. We're going to go ahead and do our centerpiece, and then right after that, we're going to go into the windows section. 
So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'll see you in a few seconds in tutorial mode. Okay, one second. Okay, friends, so for this project, I will be using medium four weight yarn and I will be using a six millimeter uh, crochet hook, otherwise known as a US letter J. And um, I'm pulling from the scrap bin, so all my four weight yarns is going to be used for this project. All right, so to start, we're gonna need to do a slip knot on our hook. However you do this is absolutely fine, so long as the result is this. Then from here, what we wanna do is chain four. You can do the magic circle if you'd like. Um, I choose to do this. So you're going to go into the first chain, draw up a loop and slip to close. Tighten your tension and it will reveal a circle here. So from here, you want to go ahead and chain three. And that will count as a double crochet. So then you're gonna go in and you're going to do two more double crochets in the circle, just like that. And then from here, we're going to chain two. We're gonna go back into the circle and do three more double crochets. One, two, three chain two, and then do three more double crochets in the circle here. One, two, and three, chain two, and then last but not least, three more double crochets in the circle here. That tail is just in the way. <laughs> One, two, and three. Okay, so we're gonna chain two, and we're going to go into the first stitch of this side here. I, I always jump over the chains. I just go right to this one. We're gonna slip until we get over to the corner. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and chain three. And then we're going to double crochet one more time, chain two, and then two double crochets, one and two, just like that. Then we're gonna slide this over and it's gonna reveal a little triangle there. We're going to go ahead and put a double crochet in that triangle. And then we're going to do two more double crochets in these two stitches right here. So one double crochet in that stitch and one double crochet in that stitch. Then here we are at the corner. We're going to do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So one, two, Chain two, two double crochets. We're gonna pull our stitches over to the side to reveal that triangle. We're gonna go ahead and insert a double crochet in that triangle there, which is literally the stitch right beneath this one here, just like that. So we're gonna do two more double crochets in the next two stitches. One, two, and then in the corner space, two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets, one and two. We're gonna slide these over to reveal the triangle here, double crochet, and then two double crochets, one a piece in each one of these stitches here. One and two. Okay, so here we are at the last corner. Two double crochets. Chain two and two double crochets. Okay, so now 
we're going to slide this over and that chain space actually um, got covered up. So I'm going to put a third one right there. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and insert a double crochet right here in this next stitch. So there's three, four, five, six on that side. Let's see, three, six, seven. Okay. So we're going to insert the seventh stitch right there. Should be seven double crochets per side here. Okay. Let me make a bunny ear. Check my work here. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we have seven on every side, which is perfect. That's what we needed. Get in there. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is join coming up from the third chain. So one, two, and three. Okay. We're going to draw up a loop slip to close just like that okay and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into the next stitch and slip go into the corner and slip chain one and then now what we're going to do is um, two double crochets Chain two, two double crochets. And so now what we're gonna do is work in the back loop. So we're gonna do um, back post double crochets in every stitch of round two, okay? So we're gonna yarn over, go back and around, just like that. We're gonna go back and around just like that okay so every stitch gets a back post double crochet And then when you get to the corner, it's going to be two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. Just like that, okay? And this little ridge is going to appear. Super nice, okay? So continue doing that and I will see you at the end of round three. Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of round three. This is kind of what we're looking like. Super nice. And then what we need to do is connect the back part here to this. So we're going to insert the tip of our crochet hook into the first stitch of the round, draw up a loop, and slip to close. And then what we're going to do is go right into the next stitch, draw up a loop, and slip. And then we're going to go right to the corner space, drop a loop, and slip. Okay. So from here, what we're going to do is we are going to chain one. And then we are going to do two double crochets. One, two, chain two. Go back into that double crochet or into that corner space and do two double crochets just like that okay and so now what we're going to do is we're going to do just for row four we're going to do a round of regular double crochets okay so move these two over to reveal the triangle go into that triangle do a double crochet and that's the downstairs neighbor just like that and then we're going to do uh, double crochets in every stitch um, of the side here. 
And then once we get to the corner space, it's two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So let's continue doing that. Just like that. It's fairly simple for this particular round. Just building out the square. And then we're going to chain two. See, we're already in that chain space, so two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, move that over to reveal the triangle, double crochet, and then just repeat that all the way around, and I'll see you at the end of round four, okay? Okay, friends, so here we are at the end of round four. Um, we did a round of double crochets. Each side should have 15 double crochets. So to close off round four, we need to insert the tip of our crochet hook into the very first stitch of the round. Draw up a loop and slip to close. We're going to go into the next um, chain space here. Draw up a loop and slip to close. And then we're going to chain one. So now we're in the chain space. So for this round, my friends, we're gonna do half double crochets. So we're going to do two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochets. So yarn over, go into the chain space, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through everything, and there's your half double crochet. Do that again. So there's two, chain two, and then two more times into the chain space. One and two, just like that. Then we're gonna slide it over to reveal the triangle. Half double crochet into that triangle there. And we're going to do half double crochets into every stitch of the round here. So, just like this. Half double crochets in every stitch of the round, but we need to make sure that when we go into the chain spaces here, it's going to be two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, okay? Just like that. And if I'm going too fast, just hit the gear button and slow me down if you need to. So we're gonna continue doing the half double crochets for this particular round. This is round five, and I'll see you at the end of round five, okay? Don't forget, it's two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochets, okay? Okay, friends, so here I am at the end of round five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so to close off round five, what we need to do is insert the tip of our crochet hook into the first stitch of the round. Drop a loop and slip to close, just like that. Then we're gonna go into the next stitch, drop a loop and slip. We're going to go into the next one here. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna go into the chain space. Here we go. And then from here, we're going to just chain one. And then, so we're gonna do a round of double crochets, okay? So um, we're going to go into the chain space with just one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet as the corner space, okay? So now that we're starting a new side, we're going to go ahead and put a double crochet into every stitch, okay? So this particular stitch needs an upstairs neighbor. So the triangle's not there. So we're just gonna go ahead and insert another double crochet in that chain space, just like that. And then do a double crochet into every stitch of the side here. So continue doing that and I'll see you at the end here. 
Okay, so here I am at the end of the side here. I counted, there should be 21. And then you're going to chain two. And then you're gonna go back into the corner space with just one double crochet for the corner. And then you're gonna go and insert another one on this side to start off the row here because this first stitch here needs an upstairs neighbor. So on the one side, you're gonna do two. And then when you come to the end here to finish the side, it's just one, okay? So two's there, and then you're gonna go right into this next stitch right here. Okay, so continue doing double crochets along the side here ending with one double crochet in the chain space and I'll meet you right there. Okay, so here I am at the end of the next side. Just one in the chain space so far. So then we're going to chain two. And then we're going to do double crochet back into the corner and then a second double crochet to start the side, just like that. Go down, double crochets in every stitch, and then once you get to the chain space, just one double crochet. Okay, my friends, so I just finished the third side. One double crochet in the chain space. We're going to chain two, and then go back into the chain space with one and then a second one to start the last side. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do double crochets in every stitch until we get back to our end piece here. Okay, and I'll see you right there. Okay, so here we are finishing out the round. Um, I have verified that we had 21 stitches for the side. So we're gonna take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it into the first stitch of the round there, draw up a loop and slip to close. And then we're gonna go into the chain space, slip to close. And we're gonna do one final round with this particular colorway before we move on to our actual stitch, which is the windows, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat this out here. We're gonna give it another ridge, okay? So let's go ahead and chain one and then go into the chain space with two double crochets just like that we're going to chain two and then go back into the chain space with two double crochets one and two okay so now we're going to do back post double crochets in every stitch of the round so yarn over, back and around, just like that. Back post double crochets. They're a little difficult, but once you get the, into the swing of things, it gets pretty simple. Back and around. And if you need to slow me down, by all means, hit the gear button, slow me down but you're gonna yarn over, go down and around, grab your yarn, go through, and do a double crochet just like that. Okay, so continue doing this. You're doing back post double crochets in every stitch of the round, and then when you get to the corner space, it's regular um, double crochets, so two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, okay? So go ahead and do that and I'll see you at the end of the round. Okay, friends, so here we are. This is the end of round seven. We just did another uh, ridge doing the back loop double crochet. This is what the, the back side looks like. Nice, this is the front side. Okay, so to close out round seven, we're actually gonna go ahead and change colors because we're gonna move on to the actual stitch that we spun for, which was windows. 
So what I'm going to do here is, is I'm going to insert my crochet hook into the first stitch of the round. Drop a loop, slip to close. Go into the next stitch, drop a loop, slip to close. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut a tail here. I'm going to bring the next color in, which is cream. All right, so now I'm going to go into the chain space, pull up the cream, and slip to close. I'm going to turn my work over like this. Pull on my working yarn just to have enough tension so that I can tie my project together like this. Let's make sure everything is good. Okay, so there we have it. Just make sure it's nice and tight. Okay. Okay. So now, um, this is uh, the stitch we spun for, which is windows. So, what we're going to do is chain one. And then in the corners here, what we're going to do is we're going to do one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. Just like that, okay? So now, what we're gonna do is we're going to um, go ahead and we are going to chain one. And see, we're gonna skip that little triangle that we normally would go into. We're gonna double crochet and go into the next stitch here. Just like that. Chain one, skip one. Double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet. Just like that. Okay, continue doing that and I'll see you at the end of this particular side. Okay. Just like that. Okay, so here I'm approaching the end of the first side here. So I'm gonna chain one skip that one and go right into the chain space and do a double crochet, chain two, double crochet, just like that. Chain one and skip the triangle there. Go into the next stitch, just like that. Chain one, skip one. Chain one, skip one double crochet. So continue doing that on all four sides. It's very simple. And I will meet you at the end of the round here. Okay. Okay, my friends. So here we are at the end of the first round of windows. So in the beginning, we did the double crochet and all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the tip of our crochet hook and insert it into the first stitch, drop a loop, and slip to close. See, that is just a chain one and a double crochet. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the chain space, slip, just like, drop a loop and slip just like that. And we're just gonna chain one. We're gonna go into the corner space there, the chain space, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Just like that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to, let's see, chain one and go into the top of that double crochet. Right? Yeah, chain one. And go into the top of the double crochet. Chain one. Hmm. 
So let's see here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14, 15, and 16. Yeah, it's got to increase by 1. Okay. Sorry, I had to think for a second. So just go into the tops of the double crochets. We're just going to carry the window straight up. Just like that. So continue doing that for this round here. Making sure that when you get to the chain space, my friends, it's going to be one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet. Okay. I'm just going to stay on with you because I'm already here. So there's that. Chain one, okay, let me see what that looks like. Okay, yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's perfect. It increased by one. That's what we want. Okay. So when we start the side, friends, so it's going to be double crochet, chain two, double crochet. You're going to chain one, and then you're going to go right into that double crochet here. Chain one and go into the tops of every double crochet just like that. Okay, so continue doing that and I'll see you at the end of the round. Okay, friends, so I just finished the second round of windows. So here we are at the end. What we're going to do is we're going to slip into the first stitch of the round, drop a loop and slip to close, and we're going to go into the chain space, drop a loop, slip to close. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a solid row here. Um, we're going to do a solid of double crochets. So to do that, We've already chained one, so we're going to go into the corner, double crochet, chain two, double crochet, then we're going to slide it over to reveal that triangle, and we're going to put a double crochet right above that one. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and do, um, let's see, a double crochet in the chain space. And then a double crochet above the stitch, chain space, and then on top of the stitch. You're going to do that all the way around, just making a solid row here. One double crochet in between, like in the chain space, and then one double crochet above the stitch. Okay. So continue doing that, and I will meet you here in the corner. Okay. Okay, friends, so I just finished round 10, which was the round of solid, um, it's like the solid double crochets, okay? That's what we're looking like so far. So far, so good, okay? And so um, this is where we are going to wrap up week one. So um, I created just this basic uh, centerpiece with some ridges and things very nice um, and then we spun and we got windows so I did two rounds of windows and then a round of solid double crochets to give uh, the possibility of next week's stitches whatever that is some kind of platform to work off of okay so let me just back this up just a little bit there we go all right, 
So this is kind of what we're looking like. It's a nice start to our blanket cowl. Nothing overwhelming, easy peasy, okay? So I'm not going to connect this because I'm going to wait for um, what the wheel gives us next week. We'll see. Um, and we'll go from there. So this is kind of where we're going to pick up, okay? So that's all there is for this one. Again, like I said in the beginning, if you enjoyed this, feel free to hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And then, of course, hit that notification bell to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel and when the future cows become available. So until next time, take care, guys. Bye-bye.